And that brings us to day two. All right, I guess this is everyone. Call this thread you're meaning to order. Here's the latest status report. As of today, two rescue officers and one rescue pup have been recovered, thanks to the efforts of Raxmi. However, the whereabouts of the other four rescue officers remain unknown, and the SS Shepherd is out of commission. All things considered, our primary mission to rescue Captain Aldemar has run into some roadblocks. Our first priority now is search and rescue of our fellow rescue officers. Raxmi Ochi, fly the, to the area where our radar picked up those distress signals and tried to track down our missing personnel. Gun and I will remain with the ship. We'll provide some direction and guidance from here. Don't worry, we'll be available via the SS Shepard's wireless communication at all times, so you have our full support. I wouldn't typically assign so much responsibility to a rookie, but after seeing you in action, I know you can handle it. Plus, you'll be in good pause with Ochi by your side. You two make a great team. Captain, what about our search for Captain Olimar? Should we officially put it on pause? No, we may still find him during our hunt for the other rescue officers. Keep it on our mission list, just in case. On that note, I hereby call the strategy meeting to a close. Copy that. Neat. So yeah, rescuing Olimar is now also one of our missions. Now, one neat thing is that I believe while you're here, like this is kind of a hub area. We don't have like a time going at all right now. Um, but we can just grow some more Pikmin. So there's really no reason not to just get our numbers up a little bit more before we talk with uh our other captains or rescue corps members huh onions of spitting out seeds based on life sites inside the onion there are clearly more pikmin in there so yeah we can only have 20 out at, at a time which is Kind of weird how they made it so much lower, but, you know, it's fine. Do you really like this? Because if you have an awful day, you're not completely screwed. Yeah. It's pretty good. Alright. Yo, wait, please learn how to install a few new apps onto your tablet. I'm sure you'll find them more useful when you're out in the field. Check them out when you have a spare minute. Now that we have that started, are you ready to go out there and explore? Um... I probably am. Let me actually turn on the light real quick. Give me two seconds. Okay. There we go. Ready to explore. Hello? Which area would you like to explore? So... We're gonna just explore literally right next to our ship. The Sun Speckled Terrace. Looks like there might be a missing rescue officer here. We need to get out there and find them. So yeah, we have rescues to do, we have treasures to collect, and onions to get. That's right, right now we just have reds, but of course we can unlock more as we move on. And we get transported by the beagle, which is kind of neat. And the onion... Just flies along with us. Oh, the onion's going too. Sun Speckled Terrace. Zero percent progress, but we'll we'll make up for it. And fifteen hundred is currently our goal, but that's I think that's just like until you increase your reach. We'll probably be able to get much more than that over time. But like this, yeah, we're basically in, in someone's garden. It's pretty obvious. Like, compared to the first three Pikmin games, Pikmin 4 definitely feels a lot more set in residential areas. 
Although I guess like Pikmin 2 had some caves that look that were like themed after playgrounds at least, but yeah. Come in, come in. This is Colin. Looks like we made it there in one piece. Um, no, this is Pikmin 4. This isn't one piece. Hang on, I'll have that captain explain how today's rescue operation will work. See the clock at the top left corner? It's set up so that the hand will reach the rightmost edge at the area's local sunset time. Search for missing rescue officers during the day, but hustle back to the rescue command post before dark. I'm on the job. Try to remember that you're supposed to respond with copy that. Anyway, get out there and make us proud. Oh, you probably noticed that the onion com accompanied the SS Beagle. According to the vice log, the onion also serves as a form of transportation for the Pikmin. I know that. I, I, I'm aware. Alright. I guess I should have used Y and stuff to get more. Um, but yeah, we're, we're just gonna look. Um, some of you work on that. It's pretty rock, isn't it? Doesn't seem like treasure, but it might be useful. I'll check Captain Oliver's fire log. Raw materials. One could mistake this raw material for a simple stone, but it has more in common with amber and other fossilized biological matter. When heated, it melts into brown clay and becomes malleable. Should be able to find other applications for it. I'm fair hand with machines, but I don't know much about material science. If we had our scientists back, I bet they'd be able to make good use of this. Collect it for now. I'll be excited to have something to work with after we find him. Yep. Just gonna collect that. And then just bring those back for now. Because there's not really a reason not to. I really hate how the extra ones don't decide to jump on it too. There we go. And if they realize the pile is empty, they don't actually go back to it, which is kind of neat. There we go. We got the raw material. Let's keep going. If you butt mash after you stop, you've thrown the correct amount. Yeah. I've noticed that too. Come in, Rexby. I've got an important detail. That is, you're going to need Ochi's help when it comes to searching for the rescue officers. He has a sharp sense as well. He'll be able to locate rescue officers by tracking their scent. Okay. Do I need to do this now? Look a little confused. Have you never heard of Dan 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 Dory before? It's the art of organizing your tasks strategically and working with maximum efficiency to execute your plans quickly. Its practice has fallen by the wayside in recent years, but it's still a core tenant of the Rescue Corps, so take it to heart. Embracing the art of Dan Dory is essential to your work, and you'll need it out there while searching for our rescue officers. Get things started. Okay, yep. I, I, I got it. But, like, I'm gonna have to... Like, you're not going to be able to go much of anywhere if you have to just get through the wall first. I mean, I don't really need this, but it's fine. Oh, wait. They're already good. Okay, so it's inside here. Look, there's a cave here too. This area is crawling with creatures. Our rescue officers should have retreated into this cave to get away from them. Well, we should probably take a look inside. Maybe. 
Ooh, wait, that those are eggs. Those probably contain nectar. Uh, I quickly actually want to get my Pikmin, though. Have my full squad. Even though I'll probably be fine without it. So there's a big baseball and there's another cave there. I'm gonna just call them caves. Okay. Even if I'm not sure if it's the official naming for them. It's fine. Uh, yeah, let's... Let's crack these eggs first. Did you see that? It bloomed a flower. What's going on here? Hmm. That substance is called nectar. When pigment consume it, it stimulates their growth. The voice log says that the more they grow, the faster they move. They really are mysterious creatures. Yeah, but uh... All of you just grow. Perfect. Um, I guess we'll just enter. I wonder if there might be a void slug entry related to these coordinates. Yep, there it is. Lost, lost Frost Cavern. I entered the cave to look for the SS Dolphin parts and found a creature that defies the logic of space. It further surprised me by expelling frigid cold air. Imagine if there were pigment that had been acclimatized to that cold air. This plant's ecosystem is full of mysteries. Take a look at this. Captain Olimar certainly is thorough, isn't he? According to the log, anytime you enter a cave, you should take your pigment with you. As this beacon can bring the pigment, so you can enter the cave without stopping by the base first. Oh, okay. Pigment that remain on the surface can't just be left out there, so let's return them to the onion for the time being. Oh, so you just pick from there? Okay. So there's no need to walk back to the onion like I did. Okay, I mean, good, good to know. I, it's not a bad way to go about it at all. Yeah, yeah, bork, bork. Let's pick up a castaway scent. Must be one of our missing rescue officers. Alright, so these are some female shear grubs, so not too scary there. Actually, you know what? Yeah, just bring them back. What's this? That's not treasure. Huh. Treasure or not, it does appear to contain some sparklium. Might as well keep collecting those defeated creatures. They may be enough to help, even if only a little. So yeah, also, while in here, um, creatures don't grow more Pikmin, but they do get you um, There we go. What was I saying? Right, they do get sparkly. Ice Pikmin! New Pikmin type! It's basically a blue rock. It is Pikmin too? Let's see, the voice log says... Ice Pikmin. I always thought of Pikmin as plant-like creatures, so I never dreamed I'd come across an ice variant. Ice Pikmin can use their icy bodies to freeze water and creatures. But they also float like ice and water. Don't spray them with water though, they really don't like it. Their bodies are made of ice? Who knew that something frozen could move around like that? It's incredible. Let's collect that. Also, time doesn't move in the caves clearly, so that's cool. All of you come back here. Break these jars. Not back. I 
I'm pretty sure those like emeralds. Oh, uh, what? Oh, that seems like a lot of Pikmin. It's your squad bigger than normal. Huh, I see. When you're underground, you can have a larger squad because the wild Pikmin you find will join you. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Um, Pretty sure like those emerald things. Not emeralds, gems, whatever. Um, Are used for upgrades later, so. I definitely want to get those. Alright, we have other sheer grubs now. Hold up. Oh, one of you is carrying that back after all. Even though I didn't want you to because a shortcut is being opened up now. Oh well. Oh. I keep pressing A with you when I want the charge. That's not very helpful. onion doesn't look like it's sputtering looks pretty pale for an onion what do you think should we take it with us yeah of course they will bring that back right okay all of you have flowers already I think some of the others didn't have flowers yet. Yeah, there's some there that don't have flowers. Let's go grab those. Oh, this onion is different somehow? Let's take it back to the service so we can compare it with the other onion. Pretty sure it's just the onion for the ice pigmen. But sure, let's do that. Okay, there we go. Flowered everyone up. And then... Just like that. Frozen solid. I bet you can break it if you hit it now. Give the order to the Pikmin or Ochi. Yeah, so... Once it's frozen, any of your Pikmin can break it, which is kind of neat. Or Ochi. To be honest, I always forget that Ochi can bring stuff. We found it constantly. Hurry and check their vitals. Pulse, blood pressure, temperature. All within normal parameters. Looks like their life support systems did its job. We should transport them back to the SSB and verify their ID badge. I was working on that. Okay, I'll just look from here. Yeah, there's nothing else in this cave. You didn't. Let's take a look and see what the ID badge tells us. Hey, this is... Russ, an inventor, material engineer, and lover of all things science. He can develop all kinds of useful gadgets with the right raw materials. Oh, Neat. Ah, oh, thank the stars, he's alright. This is Russ, the scientist in charge of repairs and upgrades for our spacesuits and the SS Shepard. His technical knowledge will be beyond helpful during this rescue mission. Good. Three more left to find. I think I am done down here, so. Let's return to the service.
Lost Cross Cavern, we rescued. Officer, we discovered three sparkling treasures, or two treasures and some creatures. Investigation complete. So yeah, we did 100% because that was all that was in there. Oh, and you can even see sub-level details, which right now is not interesting, but later will be. I do appreciate that. Very much so. Alright, back out. Are we gonna be forced to drop back to 20 now? I'm sure I synchronized your clock, but something's off. I'm calculating the difference. It looks like as if about one sixth as much time passed on service as you spent underground. Oh, so you do spend time, but it's only a fraction. Time seems to move differently in the underground space on this planet. Not sure how it works, but I suppose that means you can take as much time as you need to explore caves. And our onions merge. Nice. Hey, the onion sucked it up. The voice log says that the white bulb is called Flarlick. If we bring Flarlick to the onion, it will increase the number of pigment it released on the surface at any one time by 10. Well, that'll be a big help when you're exploring. Try taking out more Pikmin. Uh, yeah, this seems good. So now I have more. And also, we have a new base we can set here. Which is pretty cool. It, it froze? Don't just stand there, now's your chance. Yeah, you interrupted me. Mid, mid cutscene, might I add. Or mid fight. Huh, another circle of stones. We keep finding them in the most opportune locations. How interesting. Maybe Captain Onomar left them behind for us so we could track them down. At any rate, this seems like another good spot for a base. Use A to call the SS Beagle here. Any pigment on standby near landing site will be transported. Sure to move your base wisely, it's another way to show efficiency and good Tindari strats. Yeah. So I'm gonna move my base. And we're now moved over here. And uh I'll just grab some more Pikmin. Yeah, I really don't like that two of them don't try to carry the pallet together to carry it faster. It's really a little bit annoying. Alright. You don't want to keep a close eye on the creatures, but if they move around a lot, they can easily escape your line of sight. It's handy trick for keeping your sights where you want them. Press ZR to fix auto lock. Okay. 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 Easy. Oh, but if you freeze them, they don't leave a corpse. Huh. So, freezing isn't just good there is a downside to freezing as well yeah because that one we didn't freeze and it did leave a corpse uh yeah you guys can take that back that's fine can't do anything with that electricity right now so let's keep going there's this pile which i will maybe work on too much about that one creature oh wait there's another one can i reach up there 
No. Okay, I'm gonna need yellows for that. Um, I might want to wait. Ooh, wait, yeah, this can create a shortcut, right? I think it does. You guys work on that. You carry that. You carry that. Actually, you know what? There we go. You carry that. Wait, no. There you go. Carry that. Just don't wake that thing up. Okay, good. I want to make sure I have my whole gang together for that. Not that it's like a super scary enemy or anything, but you know. I'll just wait for you to finish carrying this. Okay, come with me. Oh, there's some more tiny ones over there. Alright, I have 20 reds. It's just my blues working on that, so that's fine. There we go. So yeah, when... When you don't freeze them, they, uh... They leave a corpse. You guys can work on that. You got the last thing in that pile. That's good. Then we can make our way back to base. I don't think I can grow my blue numbers. But actually, let's try that. Hold on. Can I grow my blue numbers? No, it still becomes red. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it still just grows reds. Okay, I mean, that's good to be aware of. Was this under construction at some point? I wonder who was working on it. I'm sure we could put it to good use if it was finished. Yeah, but I don't have the pieces here, do I? Uh, I have some time left. Let's see, I can go here. I'll check in there. Ah. Uh, is that... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um... There we go. Ochi, why would you run into there? Ochi, please. Ochi still is burning. Put the fire out with B right away. Yeah, because Ochi did things he wasn't meant to do. And I never wanted him to attack that. Can I reach this? Is that too high as well? Hold on. Can Ochi... Oh, hold on. I meant to charge. 
Okay. Alright, I have four. Uh, Ochi should be able to carry that, I think. Can you help? Okay, that will make it go slightly quicker. Ochi is pretty slow at carrying stuff. There's strawberry up there as well. Okay, you. Alright, some of you lost some of your flowers. go grab you guys you're just standing still there come with me everyone um was there anything in here anything else can i reach this oh wait i might be able to Hmm. No, I guess I cannot. Wait, where's my... Oh, it's, it's at base. I saw it at base. Oh, why are you installing things? Alright. Yeah, wait, no, it's not a... Base. It's there? Why are you there? What are you doing over here? That's a really weird spot for you to just chill. Goofy little friend. You know what? I don't have that much time left to really go do much new stuff, so... Oh, hey, yeah, you are the red that needs the nectar. There we go. Hold on, if I just put all of my reds here... ...and put Ochi there... Uh, I would need more. Oh, look at the time. An important part of any rescue mission to make sure you're back here at base before dark. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't worry. Got it. Pigment will be safe in that area. I don't know if I can step in the water. Uh, we could just end the day whenever we want to. Um, but while we have some time for the countdown, let's take a look around. Where do we want to go tomorrow? Because I cannot get past this. Wait, why do I still have two bulbs? Please, can all of you be flowers? Okay. Okay, yeah, it's basically gonna be over. Maybe I can... create that bridge? So there's not much over here. Oh, this is a wall I can break. Uh, right. Okay. I somehow didn't realize that this was a breakable wall. Then we know what to do tomorrow. Is Mr. Pikmin back to their onion? 
an ocean eye into the beagle. I'm having a good time with it so far, though. Like, it is different in some ways compared to Pikmin 3, for sure. And, like, not having motion controls feels like a little bit of a downgrade, but there's a lot of quality of life updates as well. We got one new rescue and a bunch of treasure. Director of Destiny. Refreshing goo? Don't eat paint, kids. Temporal mechanism... Aspiration Ritual Bowl? It's just a bead, right? And a bunch of creatures. It's different, but like a good different? Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's okay. Like... Bye. There are sometimes series that become different, and I don't like the direction they go. In this case... I don't know yet that I prefer it over Pikmin 3, but it's still a good and enjoyable game. And we'll see. Like, I'm still very early, early in, so. Welcome back, Rusk. Let's see you made it here in one piece. Hehe, <laughs> of course, Captain. I had no doubts the emergency escape system may develop with function perfectly. That yeah, may be, but it would have been helpful if you showed the rest of us how to actually use it. One would expect an emergency escape device to be a bit more intuitive to use in the event of an emergency. Anyhow, now that you're back, Russ. Can you tell us if you come across any shiny rocks like this before we found you? Kihi, <laughs> oh, Colin, 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 not only did I see them, I've already completed very thorough research on this material. I discovered that when heated, the rocks become soft and malleable. It can be shaped into any form you desire. Its base properties can even change when exposed to different stimuli. It's quite a versatile raw material indeed. Cool. Cool doesn't even begin to describe it. This is the one, the ultimate biomass I've been searching for my entire career. I'm currently upgrading the 3D printer so we can put this miracle material to use as soon as you bring it to the SSB. Will we be crucial to my work in the lab and any other building needs that might arise? What a spectacular update. I knew bringing you along a material scientist would be key to our success. Starting tomorrow, I'm expecting our rescue operations to go even more smoothly than usual now that you're here. Nice. Yeah, rescue Olimar, I know. It's fine. We'll take care of it all. Twenty-four hour? Might not be a twenty-four hour, but hi Leafy. Wait, is it just me or did Ochi go through a growth spurt overnight? He does look bigger. That's actually quite typical for his breed. It's a sign that he's now fully grown and qualified for more rigorous activity. And thank you so much for the five subs. Pigment sure are playful today. Yes, they appear to be letting their guard down now that Ochi's come into his own. I'm just glad to see they're getting along. Right, another benefit of Oji being fully grown is that he can now build up his pup drive while completing missions. With regular training sessions, he can learn new skills that will be used for everyday rescue operations. Right. From the looks of it, Oji is ready as ever to fill up that pup drive. So, yeah, we can get upgrades on Ochi to make him better, which is kind of nice, although I feel a little bit sad that some of the base skills from the previous game are now locked behind the skill tree. But it's fine. Now call the training meeting to order. First things first. Russ, please update us on the improvements being made to the SS Beagle. Would be my absolute pleasure, Captain Shepard. Because they're done. Oh, that was quick. The SS Beagle now has the ability to transform any raw material collected into all-purpose clay. With this functionality, we should be able to easily build on location. Excellent. Of course, I'm not quite sure that what we'll be building, but good work nonetheless. One last thing. Bring me raw material and I'll be able to whip exciting new gear and items for you in the lab. 
I have no doubt they'll be useful to you while on in the field. Hey. Sounds like we're not only collecting treasure, but all raw material too. Don't forget about our mission. Yep. By the way, come talk to you when you have a minute. You would like to discuss Ochi's training. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, so. I am first of all just gonna... Grab a bunch of you. And while I'm here... Just grow them. Because there's really no reason not to. Other than it's taking like two minutes. There we go. Okay. So I can talk to you. And you can. Yeah, visit the lab. So we have now a mission to acquire all the gear from the lab, which I want to get. Don't forget to collect food for Brittany. I don't think there has been a Brittany yet. Right, so we have Survey Drone, Charging Horn, Scorch Guard, and others. Oh, she's Scorch Guard. I want the Charging Horn because I love charging as an ability. Uh, so definitely give me the Charging Horn. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to use this, but you know what? Survey Drone, it's cheap. I'll get that. And what items can I get? Nah, I don't really want that. Don't really need that. Um, I'll hold on to my rest. I don't feel the need to get a Scorch Guard right now. Charging Horn. It's quite simple. Yeah, just press X. Which I, I really like. So I'm going to teach you how to use items. I can go to my pack, okay? Okay. Don't forget to punch Louie. That sounds like a good plan. I'd like to train. So we can learn Ochi skills. So yeah, as we have pup drive, we can learn new skills. And you can, like, spec in different ways. So buff Ochi means he has higher carrying capacity. So from 3 to 5. He starts at 3 and then we can get him up to 5. Or even up to 10 later. Which is not bad. Uh, this makes him a better attacker. But, eh. Uh, rush. It shortens the time. Or gives a more powerful impact. I think I probably want Rush. Heal, I don't really care. Um, but this is basically go here. Yeah, this is basically go here. So we definitely want go here. That's just very useful. Um, probably after that I'm going to go for some more Rush. But this one is also kind of nice. So yeah, those are the ones I'm looking towards. We get a squirmy bone out of it as well. Every time you complete training, I get a squirmy bone. Okay, I forget what the squirmy bone does. Favorite... Oh, eating one fully leads to a hefty HP increase. So I guess you now have more max HP. Okay. Uh, 